This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection and service. Hey, hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Welcome back to another review. The hybrid series by EVGA has gained a lot of momentum simply because adding an additional 120mm radiator to any modern case is not a challenge anymore and the added benefit of cooling plus acoustic performance is plenty attractive and not just for tiny enclosures but for those with limited airflow as well. The EVGA 980 Ti hybrid is an awesome card, I'll say that from the start, but around $750 USD and over a grand for us in Canada. This is a difficult price to accept in general, but lucky for us, there is competition emerging. Uh, like the newly released Seahawk card from MSI, which puts pressure directly on the hybrid and we've seen prices drop closer to 700 bucks. The shroud design is very familiar to what we've seen with the 980 hybrid, but this time the reflective lighter accents are more yellowish or champagne color with the eggs converging onto the blower style fan that has a silver center and you can notice the difference here. Both the side and top have model text written that is not illuminated, but even EVGA is releasing a completely new shroud for the hybrid users that are getting the shroud for free and that will feature RGB lighting on the top portion that I think gives EVGA that competitive advantage because it is RGB. The aluminum backplate here is perforated with embedded logo and proper text orientation that adds that beautiful element to an already gorgeous shroud. The hybrid requires 8 plus 6 pin for power and consumption is higher than the air-cooled versions because of the pump and radiator fan but it is lower than the MSI Seahawk card because of lower clock speeds and here's the clock speed chart hovering well under 1400 megahertz at stock. The radiator here is standard 120 by 25 millimeters with close to 14 inches of tubing that allows flexible mounting of the radiator and the fan is rated at 2000 rpm that is controlled by the GPU based on coolant temperature which allows seamless drop and play mentality for the hybrid unlike the fan on a Seahawk that needs connection to the motherboard and thus is controlled by the user. We appreciate the small details like that and the rubber insert between the tubes to avoid any damage to the thread in the long run but I wish we had a better system to hide the fan cable running between the tubes for a clean look. But this all accounts for an amazingly cool GPU at just over 40 degrees Celsius at load is just pure outstanding performance. Almost 10 degrees cooler than the MSI Seahawk, but that is due to lower clocks, a slightly faster fan, and thus just a tiny louder operation. Uh, but inside the case, a uh, closed case, the acoustic difference will be marginal. So the question remains, which of the all-in-one 980 Ti's is best between the two available options? The EV EVGA 980 Ti Hybrid or the MSI 980 Ti Seahawk, both of which utilize the same Acetec closed loop and are priced in the same bracket. However, the block on the EVGA card is designed for the GPU, while the block on the MSI card is the same as on the original H55 cooler, which was designed for the CPU. So the shroud difference is evident, you can see that here. Both cards, in my opinion, look unique, but the hybrid build quality feels better. Uh, maybe because it's a bit heavier and the Seahawk shroud is just thin plastic. They both have some design converging on the blower style fan. Both have their unique respective aluminum backplates. The MSI card has illuminated the yellow logo to keep up with the color scheme of the Overclock series and a blue LED fan. While the EVGA card with the shroud is a bit muted and I like them both for what they are, so let us know which one you'd prefer. So without any further ado, let us check out the benchmarks. We have both 1440p followed by 4K benchmarks and feel free to pause the video for your own observation. So what you saw there, the hybrid at stock clocks is right where it should be, in the middle of the pack. 
We are surprised that EVGA did not overclock this card higher in the factory, so there is extra performance available with an overclock, but given the strict voltage limitations by Nvidia, our final core clock landed just below 1500 MHz, but still keeping the card at 43 degrees, which is pretty amazing. What this means for games is extra performance, but without affecting all the temperatures. And at the end of the day, the 980 Ti Hybrid is exactly what we expected it to be. You pay for a quiet runtime and amazing cool GPU at load. Performance-wise, stock speeds are nothing special and as with any overclockable 980 Ti, which is basically all of them, extra performance potential depends on your luck of the draw. But with our experience, a little under 1500 MHz is the average between the 980 Ti's. And those that prioritize on cooling, acoustics and high performance will be happy with this damn good graphics card. And if you're wondering which of the water-cooled 980 Ti's to get, the Hybrid or the Seahawk, both have their strengths outside of the performance realm, and the better cooling and seamless plug and forget operation is appreciated on the EVGA card. But let us know which one you would prefer with the comment below. I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.